This is a video about projection and linear projection, in particular the point that closest does not mean close, or equivalently best does not mean good necessarily. So just thinking geometrically first, we're trying to project points onto this shape over here. Of course, if we have a point that's actually inside the shape, then that point is its own projection. Um, and so it's as close as we could possibly be. If we have a point over here, maybe, and we do projection, uh, remember we're just sort of finding the very closest point within this shape, which happens to be on the border right over here. And so this projected point is still fairly close to our original point. But you can imagine you know, if we had a point way out here, we can still do our linear projection to find the single point within this shape that's closest to this other point, but closest does not mean that it's close, right? In this case, it's pretty far away. Uh, the projection is far away from the original point. And the same intuition carries over when thinking about linear projection and best linear approximation and best linear predictor. Okay, if we have a graph with x where we have three values like this, uh, of course if they're all in a row and we take a linear approximation, it'll be perfect. So that's like over here where the point is already inside the shape. The CEF is already linear, and so the linear projection is the same as the CEF, or the best linear predictor is the same as the best predictor, and so on. So more interestingly is when the CEF is not linear, and in particular, corresponding, well, it's corresponding to this point. First, we can imagine, you know, maybe the points are sort of like this, where they're not exactly linear, but it's very close to linear. And when we take a linear projection, we'll get something very close to the true CEF, because the true CEF is already very close to being linear. We could also imagine, though, a case with, let's say, a point up here, and point up here, but also a point down here. Now, in this case, the CEF is highly non-linear, but when we take a linear projection, we are confining ourselves to a straight line. So if we imagine these x values are equally likely, sort of get something like this for our uh, linear projection. It's like this point and this point. So in this case, this is more like this situation where we're starting out very far away from linearity with this open circle CEF. And so when we do projection, we'll get, you know, the best we can do as a linear function, but it's not very good. It's very far away here, it's pretty far away here and here also. So it's best approximation of the CEF, best linear approximation of the CEF, but it's not necessarily a good approximation of the CEF.